I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the subscribers and viewers for watching my videos, sharing them and posting excellent questions. Now here is a question from one of our subscribers. I am not very sure exactly what he or she needs but that is how I perceive and so I have written two questions from the information I could get. First of them is nth root of 64 equals to 2 we need to find what is n and the second is nth root of 5 is 125 we need to find what is n. So we are trying to solve an equation which involves radicals and we are going to use the exact values and find the value or the solution without calculator. So that is how I see this particular question. And now let's look into the solution. So whenever I write, let's take a first, 64 to the nth root, it really means that this index n could be treated as like 64 to the power of 1 over n. So that is what it translates to is equal to 2. So that is how we see our equation. Now to get the value of n what we can do is we can write 64 as power of 2 that we could do. We could also first rewrite the equation as 64 equals to 2 to the power of n. Now what we are trying to say is what power of n will result into 64, correct? So if you look into the powers of 2, that means 2, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, then we have 16, 32, and finally we get 64. So what we see here is that 2 to the power of 6, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is equal to 2 to the power of n. When the base is same, then we can say the exponents are also same. So we get 6 equals to n and therefore our answer is that the index n for this radical is 6. So I hope it is absolutely clear. right? Now let's apply the same strategy to the second question. I would rather like you to pause the video at this stage figure it out and then look into my suggestions, right? Okay, so let's begin. So again, we are given 5 to the power of 1 over n, right? That is what this index n here means, is equal to 125. Now let's look into 5 powers now. So it's better to find powers. So 5 times itself is 25 and times 5 is 125. So basically, we get 125 as 5 to the power of 3. So we can write 5 to the power of 1 over n equals to 5 to the power of 3. Since the base 5 is common, exponents should be equal. So 1 over n is equal to 3 or 1 over 3 equals to n. And so the index in this case is 1 over 3. So our answer now is n equals to 1 over 3. Does make sense, right? I hope that is a nice way of solving these questions. And if you follow this simple strategy, then you can solve any radical equation in this fashion. I hope it serves the purpose. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.